Hey guys, what's up? Alex here, back with another Sony Vegas Pro 11 tutorial. And this is going to be a Twixter tutorial, and it's going to be on, on how to get the smoothest looking Twixter in Sony Vegas, because it's a little different than using this plugin in Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. And the first tip is you never want to apply Twixter to the entire video clip. And this is why people tend to have a lot of uh, glitches and repeating clips and other stuff like that on the video clips when they apply plug into a large uh, video clip. So you will only want to apply Twixter to around a few frames between 10 or less or even 15 frames. So let's first of all let's delete the audio so just go to your video clip, click it and press U. That will separate the audio from the video and just delete the audio. Alright, so before you apply Twixer, you will just want to browse through your frames and find the part you would want to Twixer. And it should be around here. And you just want to go forward about the recommended frames to apply Twixer to, which is about 10 to 15. So the count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And just make another cut. So we should have a small video clip to where you're going to apply uh, the plugin, a very small video clip. So let's go ahead and apply the Twixter. And I'm assuming all of you guys watching this know how to use Twixter in Vegas Pro by now. If you haven't, I'll have a link to my Twixter tutorial in the annotation above. Just click it and it'll take you to that video. All right. So right now the speed percentage should be at 100 and don't change any of the other settings uh, because they won't really make a difference. Only The only time you will be using this is when you're using live action footage. But in this case we're going to be using footage recorded uh, gameplay. So on the speed percentage let's go ahead and click on the animation button to keyframe it. And we're just going to go to about three frames so that it will transition into slow motion. And here's the second most important part of getting a smooth slow motion is that you never want to have a speed, speed percentage of above 5%. So it should be around 1 to uh, 4% to get the smoothest looking Twixter um, for your video. Now if you go over, of course, it's going to distort your video clip and it's going to lo look um, really choppy and fluid. We want a really smooth looking video clip, so make sure you keep the speed percentage to about uh, 1, 2, or 3, or 4 percent. So right now for the example, I'm just going to slow it down to about 3 percent. And I'm going to keep it at 3% towards the end of the video clip. And I'm just going to extend the video clip because um, it's slowing it down. So the video clip should be uh, longer. And I'm just going to scrub through and just randomly pick a point where I want to end the slow motion, make a keyframe, and then transition out of the slow motion. So go forward about three frames and set it back to 100%. So now I'm just going to make sure the frames are perfectly added up. So let's preview the video clip. And let's play it back. And as you can see, the slow motion is really smooth. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial. It was pretty short, but it was really effective for me. And again, if you like this video, please comment on it, give it a like, and share it with your friends. 
If you have any questions or uh, tutorial requests, just send me a message or comments on this video. And I will see you guys next time.